T. Gray and MK, you are now cleared for flight school takeoff. Four, four three, two, one, zero. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How are you today? <laughs> Doing fantastic. Good. Yes. Looking great. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, I got my I got my new EX8 shirt on. You do. You do. That is, it's looking good, man. I don't even think I have one of those yet. Yeah, you you don't yet. Operative word yet. <laughs> All right, that, that's fixable. Yeah, that's fixable. That but I'll tell you what, I do have what? What I do, do you have? have? My new size L polo. Oh yes. That's I'm right. Out of all the XLs, the XLs no! are gone, baby. That that is so awesome. You are down how many pounds? Uh, twenty six. Twenty six. Oh, no, might, might be more than that. Like, no, I think it's twenty eight, bro. I think it's twenty eight. Hold on. I think it's twenty eight. And then I weighed myself this morning. Twenty eight, baby. Twenty eight. That 28. is awesome. 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 Good yeah. stuff. And you're fitting into. So the next step is the medium, right? After Lars comes Schmedium. <laughs> For those of you who are on the chats early, put it in the chat if you know what Schmedium actually is. What's, what is Schmedium? <laughs> uh, see, who knows what a Schmedium is? <laughs> no. Already so literal, small, medium. No. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Come on, Romero. David Romero, you know what it is. <laughs> Chrissy DeLisser, that's right. The yep. tight fit medium, the yep. sexy medium. There it is. Yeah. Melissa, you got it. She got it. She got <laughs> it. The sexy medium. <laughs> uh, all right. The, the sexy medium. I love it. Good stuff. Good all morning. Right. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Mm -hmm. So glad to see you from all over the world. Welcome to flight school, especially if you are brand new. Yeah. Thank you. We had a record number of new people join the company in April. And if they joined your team, I really hope you've got them on flight school as part of their success routine. Yes, absolutely. All right. We got stars flying. We got a, we got a stars party going too. So oh, we Tim do. Lambert sent 200 stars. Let's see here. Who else do we have? We've got Robert Moore. I boomerang is the future. Be there or get left behind. Oh, we already hit we already hit the stars party. We did. <laughs> we did it. All right. Man, that was quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Excellent. Man. Oops. All right. Well, let's see who's here. We got people on from all over and get oh my god. I'm going to start out welcoming this has got to be a first. You guys tell me if there's ever been another one, but this is a gun. This seems to be the first. You ready? Yes. Samantha from Singapore. What? Yes. <laughs> Welcome, Samantha. Wow. Glad to see you on flight school. I think that I think she's the first one from Singapore. Exactly. Yeah. I think so too. I think so too. All right. Cool. So yeah. Jewel Maker sent a hundred stars. Wait. Sonia and Perez sent a hundred stars. Nice. Lutretia Black sent 200 stars. Stars are rolling. Yes, they are. Stars are rolling. Okay, oh, you know cool. What? Here's somebody I haven't seen in a while. Thomas Williams. Hey, Thomas. Thomas. What's up, Tommy? How are you, brother? Kimaya Vassar, 50 stars. All right. Checking in from Chicago. Kamal from London. Welcome to flight school. Nice. Diane Ramsey from Bermuda. Sansare from oh, New yeah. Jersey. Vita Wood, flight school veteran from Atlanta, Georgia. There we go. All right. Well, Robin Leatherby from Utah. I know she's from Utah, but she sent 500 stars and she's got an 85 week streak. Yeah. Nice. V. Carter from Puerto Vallarta by way of Houston. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Brina Hunt, 50 stars, checking in from Chicago. Wonderful. Great sunny day, Boom Nation, checking in from Chicago. Nice, sunny. Yeah. Shy town yeah. Andrea Castillo, flight school veteran from D-Town, aka yeah. Dallas, Texas. Desmond Big D Donaldson, good morning, T. Gray and MK from Brentwood, New York, and he sent 100 stars, and he has a 105-week streak. Sweet. 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 That's 
Earl LaSalle from, it scrolled on me, <laughs> Montreal, Montreal, Canada. Uh-oh, who's this? Oh. Who's, who's from Budapest? Monica from Budapest. from Budapest. She sent 200 stars. Thank you for the stars, Monica. I think I have a new favorite. Here we go. You ready? Diamond Desi Lipova from the gym. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. Hey, Get the workout in. in. Workout and the flight school. Yeah. So I hope you're doing cardio. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Well, from London. Mario Magari from London. What's up? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Smedium Saturday to all, Dr. Latrice says, and sent a thousand stars. <laughs> <laughs> Monica Savage from Tampa, Florida. Hey, you know what? It looks like a few of our folks had so much fun in Cancun that they lost their streak. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> lost their, their, their uh, star streak. Right. Yeah. yeah. Did you know you can give stars on other uh other channels as well yeah start other, over other calls start so over. some people have maintained their streak alicia sells harold hey boom family sent 100 stars beverly smith 200 stars john john from france i wanted to recognize and welcome that person except this thing on flights on uh on facebook keeps scrolling and the people are getting uh, away from yeah bart bartlett super sec oh. superstars coming Bro, I think I got another first. I got another yeah. first. You guys tell us this, this is the first. Larissa from Armenia. What? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Edgar Lohman sent 500 stars. Oh, and by the way, Monica from Budapest says today is her birthday. Happy birthday, Monica. Aw. Happy birthday. I hope Sing. that you are not hungry on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> get it hungry yeah that was that was super bad bro i am a dad i do make dad jokes they yeah. happen and that one that one was awful it was terrible <laughs> i'd have to say so myself it was bad it was uh sad. sarah Lindsay williams sent 200 stars melissa duquesne 50 stars all right leonard maley <laughs> and 500 stars elliot and shelly shields at breakfast oh nice hey look who's starting the streak here Kanan from where did it go Kanan from germany somewhere i i i, I feel going, like it's going so fast it's going so fast oh my god there's so many people okay we got uh Kanan from germany germany way to go that's two weeks in a row monica says t gray you're allowed to make bad jokes no he's not monica <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. And uh, Leroy, Sapphire Leroy from Bermuda, but <laughs> in the Dominican Republic. All right. Nice. Awesome. Getting around. We ready to rock and roll, bro? Let's do this. We have so yeah. many okay. friends okay, and so family come from all over the world. I'm excited. So I got I to do one more stars here. Dom Re Buenas from Guam sent 500 stars. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely. I got to do one, one more welcome. We got an, it looks like another new person here. Ramen from Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah I haven't seen that name before. Welcome, Ramen. Yep. Boy, the, this man, the chat is just lit this morning. Lit. We love you guys. We love you. We love you. Okay. We've got a great flight school lined up <laughs> today. When I say great, I mean, to get to it. Fabulous. So, Mark's going to stop messing around and we're going to get down to business. <laughs> uh, blame it on me, bro. Blame yes, sir. Like Saul says, let's get down, let's get right. down to business. Jesus. All right. Disclaimer time. Disclaimer. Disclaimer time. All right, folks. Here is our disclaimer because we will talk about money today. You can hear about it. And iBoomerang is an opportunity where you can, where you have the opportunity the possibility of making money. But one thing that Ira Boomerang does not do is make guarantees or income claims about how much money any particular individual, as in you, will make, right? Why is that? Because everybody's going to do something different. Some are going to do a lot and make a lot. Say with me. Some are going to do a little and make a little. And some are going to do what? Nothing at all and make 
nothing at all. Like David Romero just said in the chat, nada gets nada. So how do you determine who gets what? How do you determine what you're going to get? You've got to ask the man or the woman who's looking back at you in the mirror when you're brushing your teeth in the morning or the night, hopefully as well. That's the person who can tell you how much you are going to make because that's the person he or she is going to tell you what you are going to do. So that said, that's our disclaimer. Everybody can make money. Everybody won't make money because everybody's going to do something different. Right. Make sure you share the disclaimer at the beginning of your presentations and your group trainings. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And welcome, Simone, Simona from that's Slovenia. Right. Yeah, Simone from yeah. Slovenia. Simona. Yeah, that's a, that's a new one too. I'm excited. Right. Rock and roll. New people. Rock and roll. Love it. All right. I've Somebody's got doing something right, for, Art. What? Somebody's doing something right. Yeah. What's bringing new people doing something in right? A flight school. What's that? Bring, they're bringing new people in. Yes, that's right. They're getting them on flight school. People are doing it right. Yeah, they're bringing new people. That's it. So that's the game, right? That's that's it. So the more people you have on flight school with T. Gray and I and all of the I Boomerang family, the more that they are close to the fire, right? That's right. And today we're going to go over a lot of good stuff that's going to help you guys build your business. So EX8, I've got mine on. You got yours on? In spirit. <laughs> I'm, wearing, I'm, I'm wearing an EX8 t-shirt in my mind. And okay, it's cool. <clears throat> so for a limited time, you can buy three or more and get 25% off. And where do you get these? Awesome EX8 shirts. Uh, it must be that website on the screen, boomgear.com. That one. Yep, that one. There you go. Didn't get you. All right. I get me today. All right, vintage hat sale. This is still going on. And I brought my hat. Ooh, look at you. You got yours today. Brought my hat. Nice, bro. Yeah, brought my hat. You got your vintage caps. Yeah. Whoa, you got you. Oh my God, you really went way back. Yeah. Or can you do this? <laughs> you, sir, are silly. Yes. <laughs> how you, this is how you rock the vintage hat. So do you have to tilt your head to the side? Yes, bro. Okay. You got to have an attitude. <laughs> you know, you got to like, you got a serious face. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All righty, get your vintage hats and wear them the right way. Dollars, uh, yep. <laughs> Jelani said it's a Bronx thing. You bet your biffy, girl. That's it. <laughs> That's true. All right, I've never been to the Bronx. <laughs> Didn't you say you went to get baseball game at Yankee Stadium? No, I you haven't. haven't? Oh. Baseball game at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. All right. All right. Good stuff. Hey. Plan for success with the flight plan calendar. Hey, so I love this flight plan calendar and we're gonna be talking about this a little bit later today, okay? On our, uh, on our session that we're gonna have, T. Gray and I are gonna go over boom parties and good parties. And um, this, ah, you've got yours. I have my flight plan calendar. Yeah. Hey folks, nice. literally this flight plan calendar, look, back in the day, when we were first coming up, because I mean, for you to benefit of you new people, oh, I'm sure you've heard about Holton yeah. Bucks, icon in the industry. And he's the, one of the major reasons why this company is so special and spectacular. Mark and I have had the, the, the honor and the pleasure and privilege of being mentored by him way back in the day, going back to 2002 for Mark, 2004 for me. And Holton taught us how to build our business successfully. And we built our business from a calendar. This is so much less sexy than a flight plan calendar, right? And uh, we'd have to go to the store and get a month at a glance calendar. And he taught us how to keep track of our business in here, right? So here's what we did. When we designed the perfect company, we created a calendar that's special for the business. And that not only does it have the space for you to, to track your business, it has places for you to keep track of who your players are you start you know who's who the who the rock stars on your team um also to have your goals and know what to do in the beginning 
all in the beginning, you keep track of who your success team is. And guess what I just discovered about my flight plan calendar that I have here in my hot little hands, Mark? Guess what I discovered? I'm, I'm, what did you discover? It's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know Espanol. Yo hablo Espanol, pero solo yeah. un poco. Y solo entiendo si usted habla muy despacio, por favor. I practiced that. What the heck did you it just say? I speak Spanish, but only a little bit. And I'll only understand you if you speak really slow. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good <laughs> if you start blasting out i'm gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> all right you, where do you get those uh flight plan calendars i'm gonna go with boomgear.com <laughs> i almost got you <laughs> <laughs> i i saw you thinking about that all right they are available in spanish which t gray has there in his hands french and i've got the english one thank you I appreciate you. All right, $25. Hey, and you know what? Uh, you don't just buy one for yourself. You buy five. Why five? You buy for yourself and the four new people coming onto your team. Right. And you don't We're give them about them. them. We're going to talk about the calendar to the new people. Yeah. You sell it to them for $25. Oh, yeah, that's and right. You take that $25 and you get some more calendars and you just cycle through just like that. That's it. So if you're brand new and you just got started, you need to have a flight plan calendar. If you're brand new and you just got started and you are in the same city as your sponsor, ask them, where was my calendar? All right. So we let's get this flight plan calendar culture going on the team. Believe me, it will make a difference in your business, folks. Yeah. Dr. Latrice says, I work by a calendar. It's our calculator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. I plan calendar training coming up. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. We need to do that we for do. sure. 100%. All right. Good deal. Okay. Accelerate. Accelerate app. Mark is wearing the shirt. Yes. And there, and he's got the t-shirt. That's I'm right. Reckless. So the accelerate app is for people who are already subscribed to elevate and they Maybe you've taken a few classes and now you're ready to start trading live or demo and you want some ideas as to good trades from the educators. And so they're, they're listing those trade ideas in the app, okay? And some folks, again, disclaimer, some folks have used these trade ideas and generated significant profits because that's the idea, it's not the guarantee, but that is the idea that these trades coming from experts who know what the charts mean, they're saying, hey, this looks like a good trade. And what you do is you go and you take your uh, analysis, your own charts, and you see if you agree with it. And if you agree with it, you can take that trade if you want to. And I'm gonna tell you right now, folks are, are, uh, are, are winning. So it's an additional, it's an add-on to your Elevate subscription. You can see the prices on the screen for ambassadors and for customers. All right, cool. Mark, I got folks saying the slides are not moving, but they are, they are moving for me. Yeah, they are for me too. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I'm looking at Facebook and I'm we're on the slide that I'm on. Yep, I checked them both too. So. Okay, all right, cool. Good stuff. Diamond, di uh, sorry, blue diamond, sorry, new blue diamond, Derek Gibson says the slides are moving for him. Okay, so. yeah. Yeah, so it just it just might be your uh, your connection. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Somebody said, oh, "Well, a number of people are saying they're still seeing hats, still yeah. seeing vintage hats." Yeah. Might so be so. Let's, let's try this. You stop sharing. Okay. Reshare. Slides are now moving on Zoom. All right. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Stop share and reshare. All right, let's see if that helps the people out who are still on the hats. All right, they're they're happy. There you go. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna Kevin move forward. Clayton back from Mexico and slinging mud already, talking about it's the Apple phones that are moving slow. <laughs> so I was gonna no. ask, is Kevin Clayton back and feeling better? Uh, I think I got my answer. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> yes, he's back. <laughs> uh, shoot. Okay. So, and then the other thing too, I hear there's something new coming in the EX8 app. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could mm -hmm. it be notifications? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maria so, Magana, will there mm -hmm. be a training on how to use it? Yes, we will do another one and it will be better than the first one. Awesome. All right, so I am going to change the slide. The slide's about to change. <clears throat> All right. Does everybody see the slide change? There, we got yeses, we yes. got nopes. Okay, so folks, it's not on our end. It's on your, it's on your end. It might be Zoom, it's whatever. But that huh. means there's not anything that we can do about it. But what we're about to do is we're about to record a training. And you guys are going to help us. So, Mark, I'm setting a little timer here. Okay. And that way you and I can uh, knock this out. So we've been reworking the new ambassador journey, which is the training program for new ambassadors as they join the, uh, as they join the uh, Boomerang family. And so we're re-recording or at some of the old trainings and we're recording some new ones. We're about to record a training on how to maximize your good and boom parties and our goal is to knock it out in 10 minutes or less. You guys ready? Set the watches. Right. So, so hold on a second. So for, for you guys who are having screen issues, it's a little bit distracting. So can I just ask you to, to kind of stop doing that for a minute? Okay, so I think we've determined that it is a Zoom issue. It's a local issue. So please stop putting in the chat for the next 10 minutes. Yeah, and, and for those you wouldn't believe, for those that uh, might be having issues, um, I, there was a big update mm -hmm. and you needed to update. <laughs> okay, go, go look in the Marketing Geniuses chat. Marketing Geniuses chat. Mm -hmm. uh, right. <laughs> Thanks, May. May. May says five minutes, not 10. <laughs> Whoa, boy. That's impossible, May. T May that's the impossible. Train. It may have to be a two-part video, <laughs> but we All right. at some point, Mark, we need to do an official start for this section, and then we got to... Okay. All right. I'm talking to myself. <clears throat> All right. You ready to go? Ready. All right. Welcome to iBoomerang, and guess what? One of the things you want to do to rock your business is you want to do something called good parties or boom parties. What does good stand for? Get out of debt, which is a key I boomerang philosophy. And of course, in some countries, good doesn't translate to that. So we just call them boom parties for I boomerang. But we're going to show you how, why, where, et cetera, how to do boom parties and knock out your business. Awesome. Four steps for party success. Number one, purpose. Number two, setup. Number three, how to, and then number four, we're going to close out and follow up. And the fortune is in the follow-up. I can't stress that enough. So why do you do a boom party or a good party? Well, you do them to create momentum in your business. Personal momentum, even group momentum is established at that core of good parties and boom parties. It puts you in a position where you can lead by example. You can show your team and your new people how to have success. What is the path to success? So what's the magic formula? Book four boom parties in your first week. If you're really serious about succeeding and you want to succeed quickly, you want to do your first four boom parties literally in your first week. You can do them like every other day and maybe even back to back if necessary, even two on the same day, maybe on the weekend, the faster you can get these boom parties rocking, the faster your business will grow. How do you do this? Work with your success team. They will help you get this done. Your success coach, your upline success team who brought you in, as even if you have a few team members, you can team up and make boom parties successful. The other thing, too, is, is get your flight plan calendar. You can get those at boomgear.com, and you can map these out in your flight plan calendar. Book your first four, and T. Gray's got it right there. Say something, T. Gray, so you can get back on the screen. Flight plan calendar. 
All right, good stuff. All right, set up. So where is the best place to do a boom or good party? At your home, at an apartment, at a clubhouse, at a coffee house. What's the best place? It's wherever you can find room and you can control the environment. But the best place to do it? Hashtag living rooms and dens. Hashtag living rooms and dens. That is where you can get the most control of your boom or good party. Your home is comfortable and you control the environment. So how do you set up your boom party for success? Well, first you wanna create an atmosphere and you don't wanna create like a, an atmosphere of a serious meeting, right? So don't set up chairs lined up in a row, like it's an auditory, no, just leave your furniture as it is. You wanna have some extra chairs available so that as you have more people, they can just pull up a chair and put it wherever they want, but you wanna have that kind of an atmosphere. You want to turn up the lights, make it bright. You don't want it to be dim where people are sleepy. And you want to be playing, listen close, instrumental, upbeat music as people arrive. Instrumental so that no one's offended by words. Upbeat so that everybody's energy comes up. Now, here's what you want to do. You want to put distraction. You want to eliminate distractions, especially pets and children. So if there's any way possible, you wanna put your pets away, maybe get a babysitter for your kids because they will create a distraction in the meeting and cause somebody to miss that part that was gonna help them see the light. Also, what about food? Light snacks only, light snacks only. Please don't cook a big meal. Don't go to town because you know what? That'll be the reason that some people won't join your business. Oh yeah, they'll enjoy your food, but they'll say to themselves, hey, if I got to cook a whole spread and do these meetings, I'm not going to join this business. That's too much. So you want to think about duplication. You want to think about everything you're doing. You're teaching those new people, those prospects, what the business will be like for them. And anybody can buy a cheese and cracker tray from the supermarket or something like that. So keep it simple. Set up a nice atmosphere. What about the temperature, Tigre? Keep it cool. Because guess what happens when it's warm? People go to sleep. So you want to keep it cool. And again, that music, I know some of you guys like the smooth jazz, upbeat, upbeat. You don't want people getting sleepy time thoughts um, or falling in love with love music either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. How to invite. Here we go. Be in a hurry. Show value and take it away. Hey, T. Gray, ring, ring. Hello, it's T. Gray. Hey, T. Gray, I don't have a whole lot of time right now. Uh, I'm in a hurry and I've got to, uh, <laughs> let's start over. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're <laughs> editing this video now. All right. So ring, ring. Hello, it's T. Gray. Hey, T. Gray, I've got, I don't have a whole lot of time right now. And I want to, uh... <laughs> All right, you do it to me. <laughs> hey, three. Ring, ring. Hello. Mark, it's T-Gray. What's happening, man? Everything's happening, bro. Awesome, man. Hey, listen, real quick. I, gotta, I got something else I got to do, but I wanted to call you and let you know that I've teamed up with some people who, who are doing something fantastic. Uh, and it's, I think it's an opportunity for you to get that extra money you were telling me you needed. Remember? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Now, listen, you might, I don't, I'm not sure if you qualify to work with these people. You know, you might, you may not, but I'll tell you what, they're going to come over to my house on Saturday at two. You need to cancel whatever you got going on and come on over so I can introduce you to them. You can learn about what's happening here and we can see if this is for you or not. Awesome. Uh, so, hey, I, I've just got a couple of questions. Um, you know, hey, what, what's it all about? I'll tell you what, all of your questions, and I do mean all of your questions will be answered on Saturday at two at my house. Okay. So let me ask you real quick. I can only invite a handful of people. I wanted to call you first. Will you be there or do I need to invite someone else? Uh, I'll be there, bro. I'll be there. Perfect, bro. See you Saturday. I got to bounce. I'll see you Saturday, okay? Awesome. Cool. Bye. Boom. That worked. All right. <laughs> All right. So three tries. What, what are the numbers? A list of 50. 
30 to 35 will answer, 15 to 20 will confirm, and only seven to 10 will show up. Now, at the end of the meeting, if people aren't signing up, everyone should become a customer. Absolutely awesome. everybody, you should pull a 100 because who can say no to the gift of discounted travel? Who can say no to the gift of savings on their bills or you know, some skin tech, some Zen Smoots, or even learning to trade? So everybody should become a customer. We've got something for everybody, yeah. even if they don't join your team. And I go, there's no charge. And Bill Genius, there's no charge unless they're saving money, right? Boom. So those two things right there alone uh, will get you customers. So how does the presentation happen? Oh, there's so many ways, okay? The first way is I decide. And that's kind of fun because you can make it a game. You put the I decide, you hook your computer up to your flat screen TV, you pull up the I decide. And every time the I decide gets to a point where it's asking for some feedback, you let the audience choose. As a matter of fact, you can actually take one of the people, one of your guests and let them drive the eye to side. Now you got everybody involved. So that's one way to do it. And a whole nother way to do it is for your upline coach to do the presentation for you, okay? That's another great way to do it because it just shows people, hey, look, you don't even have to do any talking. Someone's gonna come and do this for you. If you've been around for a while, they have a high degree of confidence, you feel really comfortable with the information, you can do the presentation yourself too, right? There's nothing against that as well. So there's so many ways. You know what, Mark? There's even been people who will, once they get everybody settled, play the recording of one of our presentations from, face, from, from our Facebook videos, right? Because you can just push play and let someone else go and do all the work for you. So, so many ways. You don't have to have stage fright. If you want to get up there, great. If you don't want to get up there, no problem. Presentation can still happen. Awesome. Now, here's another thing too, another tip. If you have somebody presenting for you, your upline or somebody coming in that is a, a sapphire or diamond or anything, uh, and you need to find out who they are and you need to introduce them. You want to meet them at their car. You want to bring them into the house. And then you want to stand up and give this person the edification that they deserve. That's okay, right. the edification they deserve. So uh, just some tips there if somebody else is presenting. We're going to do a whole training on that probably next week. Yes, absolutely. All right. Close out. The entire party should not take any more than 45 to 75 minutes. You'll answer all questions, and then everybody in that room should become a customer or an ambassador. Okay. Now, if somebody doesn't, now everybody's leaving as a customer, right? But for those that are customers and you want to get them to ambassadors, you need to follow up and follow through. That is called BAM fam. Book a meeting from a meeting. How do you BAM fam people? Call, do a three-way call with your upline, right? And then the edification triangle is going to work for this as well, right? You've got to uh, help them understand that this person is awesome and that they need to uh, be on time for the call and that they are gonna be uh, talking to someone who is an expert in the business. The other thing that you can do is invite them to the next event. That's called book a meeting from a meeting. Anything to add to that? No, sir. All right. So now what do you do if they do get started? Lather rinse, repeat the same thing for them. Let's pull out their flight plan calendar and let's book their first four good parties or their first four boom parties. Let's make sure we get them on flight school. And you wanna make sure you do a lifeline call where you're connecting them to at least two or three people above them in their success team so that they now know that they're part of our family. Folks, that is how you do boom parties. That's how you do good parties. And that's how you launch the momentum in your business. Awesome. Good stuff. We did it. We did, we did it. it. And guess how long it took? 
<laughs> How long? Zero. What's that? Zero. Can you see? No, I can't see. I, that it took that long. <laughs> <laughs> because even though I pulled it up on my screen, I told you guys I got ADD. I never press start. So I don't uh, know. How long did it take? 12 minutes, Steve Wood says. 12 minutes. And, and don't forget, we got to edit a little piece out so it'll be 10 minutes there. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I fumbled around for two minutes. Okay. Now, check this out. Check this out. We got all sorts of stuff from the peanut gallery while we were doing that that I was trying to ignore. Like Andy Varela saying, don't give them beer. <laughs> <laughs> don't oh give them gosh. beer. That's craziness. You know, because if you give them beer, they're going to be a little off. And you might have somebody like let out a beer belch in the middle of your main point. And and Canaan, Canaan says, or vodka. Or vodka. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or any you know type of is? alcohol. If you give them vodka, if you give them alcohol, what happens is that people will sign up. <laughs> and then what you do is you just put the pen in their hand and you just move the paper around. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't do that, people. Don't do that. Don't do that. It was a joke. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, all right. No gangster okay, rap no either. Gangster rap. David okay. Romero says, yeah. I, okay. I was I was trying to be focused, David. Thank you. <laughs> Vita says the yes, presenter. Race. How about some ice? <laughs> Vita Wood says the presenter can have vodka, though. <laughs> <laughs> the presenter might need some vodka. Yes. <laughs> all right. How about some iced tea? Yes, Desiree, iced tea is it. Nice. All right. Memorial. Well, I, I don't understand this one. Someone said Forrest. <laughs> he said the D in good is not beer. <laughs> I don't get it, Forrest. I don't get it. Oh. All right, folks. Happy Memorial Day. Remember yes. it all. Yeah. yeah. The United States. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. And you know what? Even if you are not in the United States, Memorial Day weekend is where we remember and honor fallen soldiers who have fought for our freedoms um, and to defend our countries and the way that we live. And so uh, if you feel that way, even in the countries that you live in, let's just honor and remember those yeah. who have given their lives in service. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's that's good, Tigre. Love that. Yeah. All right. Hey, we got a blue storm brewing. Oh my God, look at blue this. Blue diamond takeover. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Blue Diamond Takeover, Tuesday, May 31st, 8 p.m. Central Time. Darren Gibson, new Blue Diamond. Darren Gibson is going to give you the goods. He's going to present on your behalf. You need to get people at a boom and good party and put it up on the screen, folks. Yes. Right? This yes. guy knows how to do a presentation because he just went blue diamond. Mm -hmm. And then none other than the gentleman I like to introduce the most, Mr. Cesar Munoz is going I to do the 9 p.m. call in Spanish, okay? All right, then Thursday, June 2nd, we've got Darren Gibson again at noon, We've got lovely Martha Gabriel Ermius at 8 p.m. Central doing English. And then we've got, again, the gentleman I'd like to introduce, Mr. Cesar Munoz at 9 p.m. doing it in Spanish. And then on Friday, 8, 8 a.m., daily inspiration is Mr. Cesar Munoz, Blue Diamond Takeover all week long. What an that? opportunity, folks. I'm just telling you, this is a huge opportunity. If I were you, I'd be putting these times in my calendar and setting a personal goal to have 10 people who said, yes, I will be there for each of these opportunity briefing calls. 10, why 10? Because I know if I have 10 who said, yes, I will be there, I know that I will have two to five that will actually get on. Because these are the folks who are hot. These are the folks who have literally generated a half a million dollars or more in a single month 
through their business, through their team. These are the ones, they get it. And they can explain the opportunity in a way that other people get it. So if you wanna show people how simple this business is, you get them on these calls with Blue Diamonds, Darren Gibson, Cesar Munoz, Martha Ermias, and let them do the work for you. And here is another success tip. We record each one of these. So then you can start using the link to have people hear from them. And like Mark said, you can even do a good party on Saturday, June 4, where you hook your laptop up to your flat screen TV. And when it comes presentation time, you play the recording of one of these presentations. That's how you do it. That's how you win. It's yeah. that simple. I, I just want to know who's going to do it. Who's going to do it? Let me see it in the chat. Anybody going to do this? Anybody going to use these calls to build their business? Anybody going to hook their laptop up to the flat screen and let people Ashley's watch going to. the live or Lessie is going to. Dan, Dan Nina, it. Brenda, Vivian, awesome. Desiree. Awesome, awesome. Chrissy. Fire your boss. Nice. Dr. Latrice. All right. Good stuff. All right. Excellent. All right. Star Achievers lists are updated. April Star and Superstar Achiever lists are now available on iBoomHub.com. That's not fair, man. You saw me drinking. <laughs> I did. I did. I took that opportunity. I just wanted to get you. All right. You caught me out, you caught me out of position. Yeah, got you out of position. All right. <laughs> Hey, and the Superstar Power Promo and, uh, you know, T. Gray, rock with this one. Man, I mean, this is, a, this is so cool. You know, you get publicity, you get pub, you know? I mean, you know what I saw? And typically we reserve this for diamonds, right? I saw on Darren Gibson's uh, Instagram story, where he posted and other people, he, he reposted some things from his team where the, the business for home article talking about Darren going blue diamond. And you see folks, you gotta understand the power of that, right? The power of that is that it's no longer you saying I'm great, here's why you should work with me. It's us saying you're great, here's why you should work with Darren or here's why you should work with Dr. Latrice who was recently featured, you know? Or here's why you should work with the Schmeichel brothers. And so you want this. It's worth pushing for. And what's great about it is that because we don't just give it to you, you got to push for it. You actually earn it, right? So how do you get this? You got to be a superstar achiever four times in a row. What's a superstar achiever? First, you're a star achiever. You have 300 PQV for the month, right? Either through your own volume, customer volume, et cetera, right? Um, and you have five people that you have personally enrolled who are also super, uh, who are, who are star achievers, sorry, who are also star achievers. You do that four months in a row. That's one qualifier. And we're going to take the top two superstar achievers who have the most front line. So don't make your minimums, your maximums, just because it's five, don't stop there, right? Because if you've got five and someone else has 10, we're going to go with the person who's got 10. All right. Now, the other thing is to be a top two enroller. We're going to take a look at who enrolled the most new ambassadors that month. And we're going to take the two people, number one and number two. Okay. Now, what do they get? They get featured on Top Gun Spotlight. Now, here's why this is powerful. What do people believe? They believe what they see on video. They believe what they hear on audio. And they believe what they read in print. So Top Gun Spotlight is video. You're going to get a Top Gun Spotlight segment that your team members who are edifying you because you're doing the presentation. Imagine before you do the home party, before you do the good party, before you do the boom party, they play the clip of your Top Gun Spotlight interview, right? Or they, they share the link or put up on the big screen the iBoom Hub blog article about you. Or they pull up on the big screen the business for home article about you. 
Do you know what that does? The young people have an expression right now. They say it hits different. People listen different when they see documented edification of a person who's now coming to the front of the room. Before you came to the room, you were like some person, some guy, some girl. But with this type of edification, you are someone now, oh, wait a minute, let's, okay, this is a documented individual, let me listen. And that's why you need to go for this. That's why we're doing it and making it available for you. Now, a word to the wise, a word for the wise. When you get this, because I believe, and Mark believes that you're going to do it, and that we're going to be profiling you on Top Gun Spotlight and iBoom Hub blog and Business for Home. But when you get it, don't get the big head. Don't read your own press. It's not about you. It's not even for you. It's for your team. It's to help you make, to help make you more effective. Okay. And if you get it right, your team will explode. Mark has had the benefit of being back when in the day, Mark has had the benefit of being on the cover yeah. of a physical magazine with a, yeah. a little mini article about him in that magazine. I was on the cover of the same magazine in there. Yeah. And our teams ran with that. And we had explosive teams. We'd get in front of the room. They say, hey, look, this guy's coming up here right now. And it's yeah. really, really powerful. So I know we talk about this every week and sometimes we got a lot to cover, so we blow through it. But I wanted to take a minute today to really create the value because some of you guys are hot right now. And you want to make sure that you get this. It's going to make you even hotter. Yeah. Yeah. And that was back before the interwebs, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were there, but uh, it was uh, not, not time to be featured on the interwebs. So physical magazines is what we had. Yeah. All right. Hey, do you remember when HB was on the cover of Billionaire Magazine? Do you, you don't get People don't understand. That became the invitation. <laughs> that became the, in, like we'd put 700 to 1,000 people in a room and we would use that magazine to get them there. Dude. I mean, you know how easy it is to invite? Hey, you see this guy? <laughs> he's, he's, gonna doing, be he's doing a millionaire, what do we call it? Millionaire? A millionaire mastermind. Millionaire mastermind <laughs> event on Thursday at 7. I only have five tickets. These tickets are each $100 value. We, it, we put it on the ticket. But I prepaid your ticket. And if you are going to guarantee me that you'll be there, I'm going to bless you with this ticket. But there's one thing. You can't waste my ticket. I already bought this ticket. Are you going to be there? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> We'd have them packed in. And they would be ready. Because they were like, who is this guy? on the cover of Billionaire Magazine that's going to come and show me how I can either make more money because I need some more money, get out of this job that I hate, whatever it is that they, you know, that they were hoping to achieve. And of course, again, disclaimer, 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 when I'm making guarantees, but they wanted to come and see what was possible and have someone who had done it show them how to do it. Dude, that was it. That was it. Wow. All right, so Dr. Latrice Legendaire, I Boomerang is developing legendary superstar achievers, is her article. And you know who's coming up next? Who's coming up next? The guy who's coming on right now. What? Uh, 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 uh. Yep, Mr. Jake Parton Diamond, Jake Parton. His article's coming out here this coming week so oh, good stuff awesome. all right that's awesome team jay well, we get some, ready we got right. some diamonds on the road Oof. we got diamond ambassador rockstar diamond ambassador jackie pippins just had a birthday last week uh she's teaming up with rock and emerald tawana houston fourth of june next saturday 12 p.m in memphis tennessee nice. can't wait for that Yep, and then we got Bowie, Maryland. We got, again, new Blue Diamond, Darren Gibson. Diamond Ambassadors, Jackie Pippins and Desi Lipova. Did I say that right? Yes. Sure did. <laughs> and you know what? They're doing this in the library. 
So we always joke about this, man. That library is never going to be the same once they get done there. If you want quiet time to read your book or study, <laughs> the Bowie, Maryland Branch Library is not the place to be on Saturday the 11th. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. All right. I've been waiting for this moment. I met Jake in Cancun and I met his lovely fiance, Charlie. And Jake, dude, you are incredible, bro. Come on. Come on to Top Gun Spotlight and yes, sir. join us on Top Gun Spotlight. Where's Jake? Go ahead, bro. Unmute. Turn on the camera. There All is. of a sudden, the environment is better. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. What's, What's up? How we? Man, how was Cancun? I'm still recovering, man. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm still recovering from April, Cancun. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a crazy, um, it's, it's, it's been a crazy period of time. But I'm yeah. super grateful, and, and I'm ready, and I'm fired up. Ooh, let's hey, do this, man. You, you've got the whole setup there. Yeah, the I like freak. it. He's like, he's you all set. The, what, dude? All right. Hey, I so see the so, products, the product placement behind him over there. Yeah. He's got the right there we go. He's got think and believe. He's got love. And I, and I know that that shirt is a schmedium. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It definitely is. Hey, so uh, tell me, Jake, when are you and Charlie getting uh, married? We're getting married uh, next month on the 29th of July. Nice. Uh, yes. Yes. No, June. Sorry. June. June. Yeah, June. 29th of June. <laughs> you better not show up 30 days late for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome on it, brother. <laughs> yeah uh, you two are just a lovely couple I, I really appreciated meeting you and and meeting charlie and uh you guys are awesome just love it i appreciate it i appreciate yeah. it so Jay, yeah. congratulations yeah. on going diamond you 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 crushed it and, and let me ask you a question uh what was your rank what was the highest rank you had achieved prior to uh going diamond in april um, so I was a Sapphire in um, Dubai in October, and then in November I hit Ruby, and then April just hit Diamond. So you went from Ruby to Diamond, you skipped Emerald, right? Yep. And you hit Emerald and Diamond in the same month. Folks, if I'm you, fresh page in your journal, Diamond, new Diamond, Jake Parton is going to talk about his journey to Diamond. He's just going to drop some, some wisdom on you. And it's now is the time because Jake, if I understand correctly, you guys are gearing June is the next big run, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. And Correct. June starts Wednesday of next week. So this is right on time, people. I'm getting out of the way. Yep. Mark's getting out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. Jake Ooh. Parton, the floor is yours, sir. Thank you so much. Amazing. Well, first of all, everyone, I, I really want everyone to put some love, show some love in the chat for MK and Tigre. The, you know, these guys. They, you know, they make learning fun. They make learning fun, you know, that they're just hilarious to watch. Um, and, you know, they share some, you know, pretty standard information, but the, the, the way they do it, it's like, it's like ed edutainment. It's edutainment. I love it. All right. Um, I also want to thank the entire iBoom family for showing up uh, today for yourself, showing up to listen to, to, to the, the words that I'm going to uh, express with you today. Um, I'd love to thank Mr. and Mrs. Bugs for having such a big vision that it allows, you know, us all to have to be able to put our visions inside their vision and their persistence over the years. Um, for the results that we've achieved, I'd like to thank God first. Thank God first. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to thank myself. Okay. Because, you know, God can't do, uh, anything, you know, with your life, unless you you're actually moving and grooving and letting God work through you. So I'd like to thank myself. Um, I'd love to thank my wife to be Mrs. Uh, Charlie soon to be Parton. Um, I'd like to thank my mentor, Mr. Darren Gibson. For those that know me, I'd like to start my calls off with gratitude. Um, gratitude is the seed for more. And I'm going to talk about how all of this has happened in my life. Um, in, in, I believe such a short period of time. Um, Darren, he is a, a an absolutely amazing individual. He's a brother, um, you know, best man at my wedding next month. I'm super grateful. Um, and also of course my sponsor Tia Edwards, AKA Mr. T. Mr. T, shout out to you, bro, for sending me that random message on Instagram. 
Um, and also I want to give a massive shout out to the BPM family for continuing to um, show up, you know, step out of your comfort zone and share the vision of what's about to happen. Uh, we have a goal of impacting a billion lives with this information and I'm fired up. All right. Amazing. So listen, I'm going to get right into it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, the goal today is just to, you know, inspire even just if, if, if it's just one person that, that makes the decision to be diamond, then I've done my job. Okay. Just one person. I don't, I don't need all 22, 223 people on, on, on the, on the zoom or however many is watching on Facebook right now, just one person to go diamond. That's, that's then, then, then I've, I've done my job. All right. So, you know, I listened back to, uh, I listened back to the, the, the speech that I missed in Dubai. I was actually backstage uh, as a Sapphire and there was a lot of people that were planning on staying Sapphire. Uh, they were, they were, I'm not, now this is not me beating anyone up, but, but, but I, 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 very, I felt very uncomfortable because the greatest individual uh, in this industry, uh, Mr. Holton Bugs was speaking on stage and I couldn't even hear him because of, of, of what was going on. So I actually missed the whole Eagle Talk speech. And, you know, I sat down and, and talking with Tommy Johnson and his um, amazing wife. And, uh, you know, she said that it was, it was an amazing speech. And I think me not hearing it uh, motivated me even more. But anyway, yesterday I sat down and listened to it. And Holton says, he says, he says, we are engineered to fly like an eagle. We're actually wired to fly like an eagle. But we, because we have the ability to choose, you know, most people choose to live life like a chicken. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to share with you all right now is, you know, a story of someone who was, who was used to be a chicken. Okay. So, um, I, I, I really used to be a chicken and, and through, you know, through, through, you know, environments like this, uh, personal development, mentorship, um, and thinking the right thoughts and some of the habits that I'm going to share with you today, you know, I'd like to believe that, you know, I'm now stepping into the Eagle realm, um, and I'm super grateful. Okay. So. I'm going to share my story just to give you all a really, you know, uh, shout out to Trey Harris. He texted me saying, um, and also David Hunt, there's a few diamonds that have messaged me as well. Um, you know, saying, you know, I'm looking forward to your training today. I said, it's going to be, it's going to be a very real one. Okay. Because it's not going to be motivation. You know, when I say any person watching me back right now on the, on the replay or any person, any person watching me live, when I say anyone can go diamond, that's not me motivating you. That's me giving you some truth. That's actually, that's actually truth. That's actually supposed to happen. We're actually supposed to hit diamond. Um, so when I say that, you know, that's not me motivating you. That is, that is the truth. But I want to give him a story because I want to take you back to, you know, how, how things, uh, you know, were for me. Because a lot of people think that some people are born with, you know, gifts of leadership or they're born with, you know, a silver spoon or whatever it is. Um, but I don't believe that anyone's born a leader. Okay, I don't believe anyone's born a leader. I believe that leadership is something we have to learn. Okay, so I was born and raised in Birmingham, UK. I uh, at the, at the, I've got some notes because I, I want to make sure that I'm very. I like to be very structured. Otherwise, I'll just be talking on here for hours all over the place. I want to make it. I want to make it very, very short, very, very effective. I was born and raised in Birmingham, UK. At 16 weeks old, I got put into childcare because my parents couldn't afford to not work in their nine to five jobs. Okay. At the age of 13, my parents broke up and I got moved schools. Um, because of that, you know, I sort of rebelled and I had a lot of fun in school. Okay, the, the, the teachers didn't necessarily, um, apart from a PE teacher, uh, Mr. Gray, he was saying, um, apart from that, you know, the teachers didn't, didn't necessarily like me because I just, I just liked to have fun. So I got no grades. I often joke around saying you could spell fudge with the grades that I got in school. Um, coming out of school, I, I wanted to do something physical uh, and as, as satisfying as possible. So I became a firefighter. I was a firefighter for four years, really enjoyed it. You know, a lot of experience. It turned me from a boy to a man, you know, you, you can't, you can't play around if you're a firefighter, you know, you, you got other people's lives in your hand. Um, and then one day at the blue, my dad gave me a call and said, Hey Jake, there's some jobs going at the local factory, 40,000 a year. You know, you can get yourself a mortgage. You can get yourself a, a car. You can, you can, you know, you can start, you know, get yourself a pension. Um, and I said, yeah, let's do it because that was my normal, you know? And everyone around me was doing that. Everyone around me was in the M1 strategy. You know, Bob Proctor talks about the three different ways of how to earn income. M1, you trade your time for money. M2, you invest money to make money. And M3 is when you mul uh, multiply your time by setting up multiple streams of income. Well, I wasn't aware of all, all, these, all these different uh, money earning strategies. 
You know, for you to be free, in my mind, you either had to become a football player, a rapper, a singer, or a, or a reality TV uh, star. So that, that 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 was my only option of success for me. Um, so I said yes. You know, I was I, I, I worked this job. It was a, you know working in a factory, building cars. We built actually around three to six, three between three hundred and nine hundred uh range rovers every single day okay so imagine range rovers they're not actually cheap cars right and and so i knew i was being exposed that all this money was out there but not one of us could actually afford one and i was looking i was looking to my right i was looking to my left and i absolutely love the people i used to work with but they i realized they were very comfortable and they thought they were winning but what happened was i i saw social media and I saw people living a different kind of lifestyle, you know, lifestyle to me, traveling, living a free life. And I wanted it, but I, have, I didn't understand at that point how the mind worked. And I got myself into a pretty depressed situation. Okay, so here, here I was, I was, I had a mortgage. I was locked into some car payments. I had zero confidence because I was comparing myself to others, you know, 24 seven. I didn't know anything about, you know, personal development. I was addicted to drugs and partying. I'm just giving, I'm just giving, I'm being very real right now. There's some people in my team that don't even know what I'm about to share. I addicted to drugs and party and I have a very toxic relationships, in and out of relationships, you know, left, right and center. Um, you know, you don't know who your true friends are until you set yourself a goal. Okay. When I set myself a goal later on, you know, then the, 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 my, my true friends really reveal myself. So it turns out I was actually around people that wasn't even supporting or wanting me to win. So that, that was my environment. They were all settling down, you know, they're getting married and, and just, and just, they were just, they, they, you know, most people accept them, accept their lives and don't lead their lives. And that was the environment that was in. I was taking steroids and it got to the point guys where I was suicidal. Okay. I'm not saying this is like a, oh, Jake, you know, I hope you're okay. I'm saying it because I want to get, I want to show you the mess that I was in. Okay. I want to show you the mess that I was actually in. Um, I had, you know, when I first met Darren Gibson, I showed him my bank account. I was negative $1,000. Uh, pound, sorry. I was sleeping on a mat. Charlie, my fiance, she had to sell me on getting myself a bed. Um, I got myself into crazy debt because what happened is this, I said enough is enough. You know, at that, at that point, my little brother entered my life and I decided to become a role model that I never had. Okay. I never had, the, I never had any good role models, um, that were living the lifestyle that I wanted. And I said, enough is enough. Let's do this. Now, it's crazy how God works and law of attraction works. You know, when you make the decision to go to the next level, you, the law of attraction starts to just just, just do things to the universe. And I attracted The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale, uh, where he talks about we become what we think about. You know, success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal. And he also talks about writing a goal card down. Um, so I did that, you know, set myself some goals. Um, didn't tell anyone I was doing it. I found the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad, literally found it at work uh which is which is a crazy thing and and then what happened is i started to think of ways of how to earn money i started to think of ways of how to grow i think i started to think of ways of how to uh just 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 apply this information it was kind of like i had round two okay so when i when i decided not to take my own life it was almost like i, I, I committed like spiritual suicide and i started again it was like i got respawned round two and when I found Think and Grow Rich, as you can see behind me and the laws of success it was almost like i found the cheat codes to life you know, I used to play a lot of Grand Theft Auto. And when I found the cheat codes, I was like, yes, let's do, you know, let's do this. That was, that's, that's what it was like. So I was having fun with it. And what, what was crazy was this, I was telling the people around me that I'd found Think and Grow Rich, man, you should read this book, man. It talks about, you know, we can have anything we want. And no one was really excited about it. And that's what really made me interested in the mind. Why can two people look at the same thing and see something different? Why is that, right? That's the interesting, I just, I just, I just love it. Right. So I tried traditional businesses. Um, and I got to a certain point where I was still leaning on my own understanding. I like to say information can only get you so far. Okay. So reading, think and grow rich, the laws of success and all of these books, audio, you know, going to different, you know, uh, getting programs and stuff like that. That's great. But you need someone I believe who can show you the mess, but not leave you in the mess. A mentor is someone who sees more in you and sees before you as well. A mentor is someone who has what you want, who has been through what you're about to go through and, and has the results that you want. I never had that when I was working in a traditional business on my own. Okay. So when a guy called Mr. T. Edwards, Mr. T reached out to my Instagram and introduced me to the concepts of network marketing, it did not make sense to me. 
But let me tell you what I was excited about. I was excited to find other people that were growing. I was excited to find other people that were, that I could actually have a conversation with. Um, so I said, yes, had no clue what I was getting myself into. I think I started on the cheapest pack. Um, and then I did nothing basically in the first two, in the first 24 hours, I sponsored my, my, my two closest people to me within a week. They both quit, turned negative, started spread, spreading rumors about me. Um, but I carried on, I carried on because think about it. My traditional business was selling desserts and we, and, and we used to be a part of a health and wellness company. So I, was, I went from selling people desserts, getting people fat to now selling the healthiest plants in the world, helping people lose weight. It was, a you know, and, and I got no grades in school. I was a little, I was a little, uh, you know, I, 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 I messed up in school. So no one, no one took me seriously, long story short. Okay. So I wasn't one of those people that joined and everyone said, yes, everyone said no. Okay. And I got to the point where I needed, I needed, I need, I just, I just felt like I needed to go and meet Bob Proctor. So I flew out to meet Bob Proctor, sat down with his wife. And when I got back, I met Darren Gibson in person. He actually came to the UK, not for me, um, for another, for another individual. Uh, but I made it my duty and responsibility because I'm a firm believer that success falls in your reach, not in your lap. You know, if it's, the, I love what Jackie said at, in, in Cancun, she said, if it's to be, it's up to me. No one, you, you know, you need to take part in your own rescue. So when, when Darren, when, when I realized Darren was in the UK, I was willing to drive anywhere and everywhere to go and see this individual. I actually called off sick for, for work for two weeks and I stayed around him for two weeks. I was buying him food. I was doing whatever it, it whatever, whatever I could to, to be around this individual. And long story short, since the 8th of August, 2018, I've showed the comp plan. I've showed, I've showed the plan. I've, I've, I've shared the business. I've shared the vision three times a week, three times a week minimum. And I've talked to at least one to five people, new people every single day. Okay. That is all I've done. So when anyone says to me, oh man, you know, what is it? How, how, how'd you go diamond? Everyone who's watching this right now already knows how to go diamond. But where it gets really interesting is this. Why can, you know, it says in the book, The Science of Getting Rich, that I'm going to talk about in a second. It's, you know, getting rich is not about doing certain things, it's about doing things in a certain way. Why is it that people get better results than others? Why is it people that get, that get faster results than others? What's the difference between the, because we've all got the same comp plan. We've all got the same leadership team. We've all got the same uh, company, but some people are you know making it happen and some people are not, are not what is the difference the difference is in the way that we think okay and you've all a lot of, a lot of people are probably thinking right now jake we know this we've heard this before well i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you what i've done i'm not telling you what to do this is not me saying jake's right i'm not telling you what to do i'm telling you this is how i believe that i have developed and grew into now being able to be on the diamond frequency Okay, because you got to understand that, you know, it, you can't get rock music on an R&B frequency on a radio station. So the diamonds, what I've learned is that they have a different language. They actually speak a different language. They, they think different thoughts. And this, this, this has to be the focus of how you can actually get yourself onto the frequency of diamond. Now, one of the keys is this. I mentioned because I've just told you all how to hit diamond, show the plan three times, speak to five new people a day for four years. That's what I've done. Physic, that's the physical, right? Someone said the other day, Jake, how do I get into the feeling of diamond? Well, first of all, motion creates emotion. Start acting like a diamond. Act as if, start acting, you know, have you have you pretended to even be diamond? Have you practiced? Have you practiced being diamond? Have you practiced, have you practiced doing uh, you know, being successful, if you practice being a leader, this is all part of it. Okay. So what I really did was this, and this is what Darren has, 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 has helped me realize as well as my own personal development, I've changed my self image. Okay. I've changed myself, my, my identity to now a diamond developer. Probably see behind me, it says I am presidential diamond. And there's, there's 10 circles there for 10 diamonds, 10 people in my organization that, I, that, that wants it. The, the space is there the spa and, and and that's that's now my my vision it's actually always been my vision of you know i am i am a i am a diamond developer ever since i saw holton bugs do that speech uh with john maxwell he talks about that he's an add he's an awesome diamond developer um that has always been what i want to uh eventually you know see 
and big. Um, but, you know, it took me four years to actually raise my hand and have the courage to say to my mentor, I'm going for diamond this month. I'd never said it. I'd always told Darren that I was going to be his, his top income earner. Um, I'm going to impact a billion lives. I'm going straight to the top of this, of, of whatever I do. It, it, it is what it is. You know, winning is not everything, but wanting to win is everything. I've always had that mindset. Um, but, you know, it took me four years to have the courage and, and, and the decision to say, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is right now is this. Put a yes in the chat if you're ready to find out what what's actually taken place. Let me know. Okay. Because you may have to watch this back on the replay. And I said I'm going to keep it as short as possible, but I'm going to I'm going to basically just this is how because I was speaking I was speaking to Tommy Johnson last night on the phone for about half an hour. We had a really good conversation, and he was asking me, you know, what was my process, what was my journey, and I said this. I said I haven't actually got confidence in Jake Parton. I haven't. I haven't got confidence in Jake Parton. What I have got confidence in is the information. This is because a lot of people they. You know, I'm lacking, I'm lacking, uh, you know, confidence. You know, you're lacking awareness of, it's, you know, King Solomon said, in all you're getting, get understanding. So I don't place my confidence on me. I place my confidence in, you know, success leaves clues, apply, applying certain success principles. You can actually get yourself into a, a, a river of success and, and, and stay there. And only success can happen. Okay. So one of the things I do is this. For the last five years of my life, I've been reading something called the self-confidence formula. I'm going to give you all some practical things to do if you want to do them. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I've done. It says here this, first things first, Bob Proctor, who I believe was, was the GOAT greatest of all time when it comes to the mindset, okay, personal development. He says there's two things you need to know. You need to know where you are and where you're going. Okay, you need to know where you are and where you're going. I did a call, uh, an inspirational call, I think it was last Friday, talking about the four basics of success and understanding, you know, you're in, the, the, the power of what you can hear, see, smell, taste and touch. Okay, but before I go into that, I want to talk about, do you know what your definite aim is, what your definite chief aim is? When I bring someone into this organization, the first thing I get them to do is I get them to write out their vision because without the vision, the people perish. Right. So I'll get them to write out their vision. What is it that you really want? And I want you to clothe it, you know, put some clothes on it. I want you to really, you know, paint the paint the picture so it's as clear as possible. What is it that you really want? Write, write it out from the end. So I'm so happy and grateful now that I am. And then you want to write this out. This guy, this is something I do every single morning. I've got a gratitude pad and I write out my vision in present tense every single day. Okay. This is something, just, this is what I've done. I'm not telling you what to do. This is what I've done. It says in the self-confidence formula this, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite chief aim in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, aggressive, and continuous action towards its attainment. And I hear and I promise to render such action. Where did the self-confidence com formula come from? Now, in Think and Grow Rich, there's a self-confidence formula, but that's actually the watered down version. In the Lord of Success, the word aggressive is added here. Napoleon Hill dedicated 20 to 25 years, basically his whole life, to studying the mind and, and, and the laws of achievement, the science of achievement. Okay. Network marketing, I believe, is the greatest vehicle in the world for anyone who who actually wants to create genuine happiness i believe the word rich stands for realizing i create happiness and the reason why network marketing is the best is because the back office is an exact representation of how much you are worth in the marketplace it's an exact rec representation of how many people you are helping get what they want and I'm interested in genuinely helping other people. I've just said to you, I don't just want to give you information. I want to actually help you take your results to the next level. I don't care if, if you know, if you even like what I'm saying right now, none of that matters to me. I am, I'll have to give you the truth. Okay. The second thing is this, why have I just shared that? I've shared that because can't you just like Napoleon Hill, do you realize Andrew Carnegie gave Napoleon Hill access to all of these individuals? And you're doubting what he's saying by not applying it. By not applying it, you're not you're, you're, you're doubting it. Or, but second, I realise the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for thirty minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become. A lot of people want diamond, 
and they want it fast, right? But are you able to do a, a flight school training in front of four or 500 people? Are you able to stand on stage and, you know, ha have Mr. Holton Bugs ask you questions? Uh, are, are you able to do, you know, I mean, my, I've got my family coming down, you know, th th this weekend and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm over here, you know, sacrificing. Are, are you, it's not about being able to do it. Are you willing? What well, are you willing and able to be diamond? A lot of people want the rank, but th th they're not ready for the responsibility. Someone asked me the, uh, in, in Cancun, um, they said, you know, how did you get to your, you know, believing that you could be diamond? I said, it's not that I believed I could be diamond. It got to the point where I was ready for diamond. Every day is rep is, is a, is preparation day. So you want to be looking for ways to grow, looking for ways to build that self-confidence today. I was, uh, I, popped, I popped to the shop after the gym and there's a young individual serving me at the counter at our local supermarket. It would have been very easy for me not to speak to that individual about him, about his goals and dreams, not to make the connection, not to get his Instagram, right? Not to find out if he was open to new streams of income on top of what he was already doing. It would have been so easy for me to do that. I don't care if he says yes or no. I'm not doing it for that reason. I'm doing it to build the diamond I'm doing it to build my self-confidence. I used to do things like if I didn't speak to the person behind the counter, I'd walk out the shop and I'd go, Jake, you have just denied yourself an opportunity to grow. Go back. And I'd actually go back to the shop and, and say, listen, hey, are you open to new streams of income? No, perfect. No worries. I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not doing it for that. I'm not doing the actions to get the, 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 the to get, I'm doing the actions to grow. Can everyone just put grow in the chat? You know, Darren has taught me to be not just goal orientated, but to be growth orientated. Motivation gets you going. Discipline and understanding keeps you going. Because let me tell you this, once you, once you achieve diamond, you'll realize that it's the starting line. It's not the finishing line. It's the starting line. When you get it, you realize that, wow, I'm only happy when I'm striving for the next thing. So that's why I'm very big on you just being happy and grateful where you are right now. I'm going to talk about why that's important in a second. Let's carry on for two seconds. I know through the principle of auto suggestion, any desire persistently holding my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I would devote 10 minutes daily to demanding on myself the development of self-confidence. I have clearly written down a description of what my chief aim looks and feels like. Have you done this? This is key. I was speaking to one of my groups. Uh, during the week, and I said, I said to him, "Look, have you ever visualised taking your family out to a beautiful, a beautiful venue, and you know, maybe putting them, putting them on a table, and 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 and, get, and getting the glass and, and saying, you know, ching ching ching, I'm about to do a speech. Thank you so much for all the support over the years. I told you I was going to make it. I've, I've now made it. If you just check the envelopes that are on your plate, I've actually there's actually a card in there." And in that card, you know, there's, there's an unlimited amount of money you can spend it however much you want. I just, I just want none of you to, to, to ever worry about money. And, and I just, I just want to thank you all for your, for your continued support. We, we walk out of the, of the, of the big mansion and there's a big pebble drive and there's about eight cars lined up. And I say, that one's for you. That one's for you. That one's for you. That one's for you. Have you visualized stuff like that? How does that make you feel? You know, about six days before I actually hit diamond, I was on the stairmaster in the gym, crying my eyes out, and I'm, you know, thank God I was sweating so much because, you know, I, I was, I, I don't know if it was sweat or if it was tears. On, I was crying. What was I crying? I was crying because I was so emotionally involved in my vision, and how, how me achieving diamond is 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 is, is significant for my team to see, my family to see. Like this is so key. You have to get emotionally involved with where you're going. But most people, what they do is they look, they're too, like Darren says, he, he said this on stage in Cancun. He says, most people are too sensitive. They go off what they can hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. And they let their results control their thinking. Ready for this? I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure, long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction that does not benefit or who it affects. Have you wrote down a hundred reasons and hundred benefits of how I boomerang can impact someone's life? Have you actually wrote down a hundred reasons? I'm not telling you something. I'm, I have. Okay, I have. <laughs> I've written a hundred more than right a couple times. 
hundred reasons on, on, on how network marketing, I boomerang and being around me can, can help someone. That's what that's I, I recommend doing that. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use in the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity. Because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I believe in them myself. I will summon out his formula, commit it to memory, and repeat it aloud once a day with full faith that it will gradually influence my thoughts and actions and I'll become a self-reliant successful person. Okay. I've read that every single day for five years, but what I'm going to do now is this, I'm going to read, I'm going to read to you because when I flew out to me, um, you see how this was, this, 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 this flight school is a little bit different. I don't need to feel like you're in class, but at the same time, I don't care about motivating you. I'm giving you some, I'm giving you some practical, like, this is actually what I've, what I've, what I've done and what I'm going to continue to do and why that is actually a done deal. That's actually done, right? So here we go. When I flew out to meet Bob Proctor, he gave me this book and he told me to read the chapters 4, 14 and 7. 4, 14 and 7 for 90 days straight. I did, I did 150 days in the end. And I want to read to you just, just a few things because this is where I put my confidence. The, the, reason, why, the reason why I'm reading, reading this out is because maybe I'm just gullible enough. I, I, just, I just believe this stuff. You know, I never forget when uh, me and Darren, we we were in, uh, in in Toronto, and Bob Proctor was stood there, and he he mentioned he mentioned about this individual who just did a six figure month, and uh, and you know, I think someone said, "How did she do it?" And Bob went, "He just she just believed, she just believed." And you know, when I first met Mike Jex. Um, I said to Mike, I said, Mike Jex, man, you know, diamond, absolute monster in, in, in the industry of network marketing. I said, bro, how did you do it, man? He said, you just got to believe. You just got to believe. And so, so you need to understand, guys, that, you know, that there's a, there's a, there's a success, there's a balance to success. And 90 to 99%, uh, 90 to 99% of it is on the spiritual side. It's about the belief system. And you know the filters on social media. Let's say a black and white filter. You look at this; it's, it's black. It's black and white. So whatever whatever you're looking at, it's going to be black or white, right? Black and white. So you need to change that filter. And this is how you do it. You ready? I'm excited. Put ready in the chat if you're ready. And have a drink. Put ready in the chat if you're ready. Thought is the only circled only power that can produce tangible riches from the formless substance. The first principle in the science of getting rich is understanding that you have attracted everything into in your life that you have right now. You are responsible for your results right now. Take a look at, you know, your environment is, but you, is your looking glass. Take a look at your lifestyle. That's, that's your fault. That is the effect. The cause is this, the way, the, the way that we think, read it. An individual cannot shape a thing until that same individual has thought that thing. Here we go. I'm just, I'm just going to give you little pointers. Here we go. This is so true, man. I'm ready for this. There is a thinking stuff from which all things are made and which in its original state permeates, penetrates and fills the universe, fills the interspace of the universe. A thought in this substance produces the thing that is imaged by the thought. You can form things in your thoughts and by impressing your thought upon formless substance can cause a thing you think about to be created. Here we go. This is, this is probably the, the, the most important thing now because I'll speak to a lot of people and what they do is they, uh, they, they, they're constantly thinking and, and, and talking about what's going on. You want to write this down? We have what we say, but most people say what they have. So we have what we say, but most people say what they have. So they keep getting the same thing. I've said that an individual gets rich by doing things in a certain way. In order to do so, you must become able to think in a certain way. Your way of doing things is a direct result of the way you think about things. To do things the way you want to do them, you will have to acquire the ability to think the way you want to think. This is the first step towards getting rich. To think what you want to think is to think truth regardless of appearances. What's the truth, Jake? Whatever your goal is, whatever you wrote down, this is the truth. 
you know, I used to work in a, in, a, in a factory like I shared with you, and I used to pretend that I was on work experience. We used to build Range Rovers. I used to pretend that that was my mom's, that's my dad's, that's my, that's, that's my sister's, that's my nan's, right? I used to pretend that they're, that they're making my car. I used to live in my imagination, still do to this day. Reality is boring to me. I'm very grateful for it, but I'm always thinking of what's coming. I'm always thinking about what I'm attracting. This is the key. You have the natural inherent power to think what you want to think. We have the ability to choose. Remember, at Holton Book says we're engineered to be eagles, but most of us live like chickens because we have, we have the ability to choose. You have the natural inherent power to think what you want to think, but it requires far more effort to do so than to think thoughts which are suggested by appearances. To think according to appearances is easy. To think truth regardless of appearances is laborious. It's laborious. It is the hardest work in the world. Okay, every appearance in the visible world tends to produce a corresponding form in the mind which observes it. Write this. I want everyone to write down the word eyes. Just, you know, the, just the word eyes. Okay, the word eyes. And I want you to circle the last three letters. What does it say? Yes. So whatever, whatever, whatever we see every day is what we're going to be every day. Whatever we see, our heart says an automatic yes. So you have to, you have to surround yourself. What the vision board? You see the vision board behind me. You see all the books around me. I've got my living room books everywhere. We've got the, we've got, the we've got the vision everywhere. I, I, you know, the, the reason to plug into flight school, the reason to plug into uh, all of your, you know, all, all of your mentors and all of your leaders, the system that you have every single call because everything we see, it's an automatic yes. I want everyone to write down the word here, write down the word here, and then just put a T on the end. Whatever we hear every single day goes into our heart, goes into our heart, right? So it's important to making sure, and, and, and this is, this, again, you've, you've, heard this, you've heard this information before, but maybe you needed to hear it from a different person today. Everything we hear, see, smell, taste, touch on a continuous basis will go into our heart. That's why my mentor, Darren Gibson says, you can want prosperity, but love poverty because that's all you're talking about. That's all you're seeing. That's all you're hearing. And that's all you're witnessing. So that's, that's, that's what you're going to keep attracting. So, so, you know, there's, there's, there's a, you know, and Holton Bugs talks about this in the, in the, in the red blazer uh, situation. And the reason why I keep referring to different people is because I, um, just the messenger. I'm not the message right now. I, I, I am, I'm, 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 it's not my information. I'm give. I'm trying to connect all the dots for everyone right now. You've heard different people say different things and I'm giving you the, the reason for, for, for what happens. If you're sitting down, you need to be reading. If you're driving, you need to be listening to personal development, to success. You need to put new, your lifestyle today is a, is a combination of the words that you spoke and the words that have been spoken to you. Okay. So chapter 14 is the impression of increase. This, this is the next one. The next one, the impression of increase. And this is Holton Bugs down to a T, man. I'm telling you. The key thought of all your efforts must be to convey to their mind the impression of increase. Every single person you meet, you need to think and look at them like they're happy, healthy, and wealthy. Send them love. If they haven't got anything to give, you can give them nice thoughts. You can, you can, you can, you can give them compliments. Increase is what all men and women are seeking. When it's funny when someone says to me, Jake, I've got someone who's interested in the business. I said, really, you know, you found an, you found someone who's alive. Let me tell you something. Here's a quick tip. If you meet someone and they're breathing, okay, they're actually alive. They are interested in what we do. Okay. Every single person, every single person will look at what we do because every single person it's a science science ready so increase is what all men and all women are seeking everyone all human activities are based on the desire for increase okay there's only two reasons why people pull out their 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 card and give you their 12 digit number it's number one to gain something or number two fear of missing out of something those are the only two reasons and because, it the, because it's the deepest instinct of their natures, all men and women are attracted to an individual who can give them more of the means of life. You need to become a person of value. You need to have a mindset of, if you are in my life, you're going to win. Because I'm a grower. I'm a grower. I might not be that good right now, 
Like, I know that I'm going to be looking back on this flight school training that I'm doing right now, 12 months from now, cringing. I already know that. But I'm grateful for where I'm at right now. I know I'm a grower. I don't care. I don't care what anyone thinks about me. I'm, I'm moving and grooving. I know that next time I'm going to be, I'm going to be better. I just know that. Do you know that? Do you know that you're improving every, every single day? If you can't lead yourself, you can't lead others. Can you write down things to do on a to-do list and just do them? Just get your body to work. What do I need to do on my to-do list? Go to your mentor, ask them. I promise you, your sponsor, your mentor will tell you exactly what you need to do. And anything but you doing them is your paradigm taking over. You're not in control. Okay. Do everything that you do in the firm conviction that you are an advancing personality and you are giving advancement to everybody. You must so impress others that they will feel that in associating with you, they will get increased for themselves. People buy into people. Okay, people buy into people. People will buy into you first, then I boomerang. So that's why you have to develop the mindset of connections, relationships. Hey, listen, man, let's, let's jump on a quick Zoom call and see how we can exchange stories and, and potentially add value to each other. That's the key. I don't care if you, oh, I, I, I do this, um, but I don't, I, you know, this, 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 is, this is what I do. And I don't care really, you know, if, if, if you want to do it, but um, what, what is it that you do right now? What is it that you want? Can I maybe recommend a book? Can I recommend a YouTube video? Can I recommend a business model? Whatever it is, my goal is not to sell them in the business. My goal is to find out how I can help them get what they want. It might not be what we have. It might not be. Okay. You must so impress others that will I feel like yes, yeah, just said that the supreme power. Get this. This is what this. This is what excites me. This is why I continue just to do the work every day. Ready for this? The supreme power which desires increase in everything and which knows everything will move you towards men and women who have never heard of you. Your business will increase rapidly, and you will be surprised at the unexpected benefits that come to you. That's what it means when it, you know when you when when, when you just keep sowing seeds. When you just keep sowing seeds, you know, I speak to some, some, some of my leaders today and I said, listen, you know, in the month of June, during the next run, just keep sowing and smiling. Just keep sowing and smiling and understanding the laws of nature. Because when you sow over here, over and over and over and over and over again, God, the universe eventually says, do you know what? They're going to keep going. The devil's going to sit back and go, do you know what, man? I've tried everything, man. I've, I've, told, I've told them no, after no, after no. This has happened in their life. They still keep going. This circumstance, I've put, they, they, they still keep going. They're still smiling. And God goes, just maybe maybe it's time. Maybe it's, and that's what happens. The problem is, again, most people, what they do is they, 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 they start and they stop. They start and they stop because they're too emotional. They're too emotional. Whenever I've called my mentor, Darren, and, and like, Darren, man, what's good? This, you know, he says, he says, Jake, send me your address because I'm going to send you some tissues. Okay, uh, send send me your address because I just want, I just, I just want to send you some tissues so you can cry, so you can wipe your tears, right? So you can wipe your tears and then get back to work because no one cares, bro. No one cares. It, you know, in the in the in the rules of success, it, it doesn't say if you like to do this, then then we'll give you this. It says, no, you have to do this if you want this. It's a, it's, a, it's a law, right? It's a law. It's a law of attraction. Most people just want the attraction, but they forget about the law. And the law is so seeds smiling. That's, that's, that, that's, that's the law. And the last chapter is this. Everyone put a seven in the chat. Put a seven in the chat. The last chapter is seven. And I'm nearly done. I told you it wasn't going to be a long one. But I, t I promise you, for those, for the, I'm speaking, I'm speaking now to, to someone who's maybe been a part of the bins for a while and, and, and they're thinking, can I, is dime possible for me? Can I do it? You know, uh, if you, if you, if you're Sapphire, you want to go to Ruby or even if you're not Sapphire, you want to be Sapphire, whatever rank. If you, if you, if you just, if you just do exactly what I'm talking about in this, in this, in this flight school, you're going to win. Okay. It has to happen. It says this. And this is my favorite chapter, man, gratitude. It says the whole process of mental adjustment and attunement can be summed up in one word, gratitude. Meaning when you, are in a, when you are feeling uncomfortable, 
if you just think about the things that you are grateful for, the uncomfortable feeling goes away because you can't be scared and grateful at the same time. You can't be angry and grateful at the same time. By you being grateful, you are being present. And when, you, when you're present, the past doesn't matter. The future doesn't matter. You're just grateful. You're just grateful. Okay. Firstly, you believe that there is one intelligent substance from which all things proceed, not small things, all things. Second, you believe that this substance gives you everything that you actually desire. So the goal is to get things from the goal from the head to the heart. They say the longest journey in the world is from the head to the heart. You have to learn how to get your goal from your head to your heart. And like I just told you, what well, you hear, see, smile, taste, and touch every day, speak to your mentor every single day. There's loads of different ways you can do it, but it's, 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 it's what I'm sharing with you right now. And thirdly, you relate yourself to it by, by a feeling of deep and profound gratitude. Okay. When good things come to us, the more gratefully we fix our mind on the supreme power, the more good things we will receive. So the, the, everything that comes into our life, we, 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 we show gratitude and we acknowledge where it's come from. You see, I, I used to have a huge organization in Australia. And, you know, people ask me, um, you know, what's the biggest mistake I made? It was thinking that I was responsible for that group. No, no, no. If, if, you, if, you, if you go back and watch this, I said, I want to thank God first. Because everything comes from source. When I say God, I don't mean, you know, don't get all emotional with a word. It, it, you know, universe, vortex, divine, uh, whatever you want to call it, ether. Everything comes from energy. Everything comes from the source. Everything. So, every, so, so whenever you attract anything, could be a penny, could be a dollar, right? You want to, you want to understand that it's come from God, universe, and and it's, even the negative stuff, even even something that you don't necessarily understand why that's happened. You need to understand that because if you don't understand this, you'll think that you you'll be in victim mode. And whenever something negative happens, quote unquote negative happens to me, I have the mindset of wow, God and the universe has put me through that. I wonder what the lesson is. Because I know that is, I know that I'm gonna, I know that I'm getting everything that I desire. I know that, you know, God is good and and you know, you can't believe in good and evil. You can only believe in one. I know that, you know, all things, all things are possible. So this must be a good, this must be a good thing because of understanding. Personal development is not going to get you to your goals and dreams. Personal development prepares you to move towards your goals and dreams with the right attitude. Without gratitude, you cannot help from being displeased with things as they are. The moment you permit your mind to dwell with displeasure upon things as, uh, as they are, you begin to lose ground. So the moment that you start being ungrateful, God says, that person's lost faith. Oh man, you know, this has happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. Why would the universe give you more of what you are ungrateful for right now? <laughs> that is honestly, this is true. So, so you're asking how it went diamond. I told you, I show the plan three times, speak to new people every single day. This is the, this is the, uh, this is the, how it actually works. There, really. Faith is born out of gratitude. The grateful mind continually expects good things, and expectations becomes faith. And because all things have contributed to your advancement, you should include all things in your gratitude. Okay. Did you like that? Let me know. Did you like that? Cool, right? <laughs> okay, so long story short, to end it off, what you have to do is do exactly what your mentor says. Okay. Dar Darren said something powerful last night on the Q&A that we did with, with, with Jackie and, and Trey and Jayla and Desi. He said that, you know, most people, they listen to too many diamonds. Find someone that you resonate with and just do exactly what they say. Follow the plan, show the plan, um, be the mentor that, that, that you want to, that you want to, uh, attract, be, be the person that you, that you want to attract, um, develop a, that's good mindset. Everything that happens. I want you to start saying that's good. That's good. Everything that happens. Someone, someone leaves your business. That's good. Someone joins. That's good. Who cares? Who cares? All right. My imagination is my future. And lastly, have fun, have fun guys, have fun. Um, 
careful who you're listening to take massive action and i promise you this right now it has to happen all right i promise you this right now it has to happen we are just getting started um i've been around mkt great i want to thank you so much for having me on flight school i hope this has been a good one for you all um i weren't too sure what to talk about i just wanted to talk about you know what i do on a day to day and and my journey and what it means to me and um, i'm super i'm super fired up and i'm grateful that we are just getting started um i promise this right now you're going to see you're going to be seeing a lot more success from this group um and that's it let's do it awesome uh, oh my god what Lord. incredible share diamond jake parton thank you yeah yeah you know so everybody was so inspired right and everybody just now needs to take action yeah right that's mm -hmm. it it's taking action and you know everybody's wanting to read those books and and uh but inspiration is temporary um action is permanent yeah it's massive action you know and and it, it's it's because a lot of things you know you, you've got to be taking huge action uh like massive action you know like i was talking to one of my leaders this morning and i was saying i'm, st I'm still recovering from 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 the run and it, that's how it should be so it's it's massive action but it's understanding that you, you have to take the massive action with understanding and a positive attitude for sure absolutely jake Good you know stuff, you said at the end you weren't you weren't sure if of, of this if this was a high value training bro we were watching the chats, taking our own notes, et cetera. This was one of the most, this was actually the most impactful training that you could have done today. And we just want to say thank you so much for your heartfelt, sincere, yeah. honest, real share today. Yeah. 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 I it it rarely happens that way. So thank you so much, Jake. Yes. All right. And then congratulations. Thank you. On your wedding next month, June 29th. Make sure, awesome. you, make sure you show up on the right date, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. All yeah, right. Know. Hey, so as you know, it's our tradition. We take a yep. picture. Everybody get ready for your screenshots. We're about to throw up our booms. You can post us on on uh, on your social media. Make sure you tag us and tag I Boomerang. Here we go. You ready? One, two, three. And boom, we got it, we got it, we got it. Awesome, good stuff. Again, Jake, thank you. Hey, and boom family, get to work, take action. We love you. Yes, there's nothing more to be said. Jake said it all. Let's go, everybody. We love you guys.